Good day everyone. I'm Kimberly M. Torres. You can call me Miss Torres. I'm your professor for this subject, Science, Technology, and Society. So for now, I will discuss about what does nanoparticle means. Here is the global market leader for tips for scanning probe microscopy and atomic force microscopy. What is scanning probe microscopy? It is a branch of microscopy that forms images of surface using a physical probe that scans the specimen. So what is the atomic force microscopy? It is a type of scanning probe microscopy with demonstrated resolution on the order of fraction of a nanometer, more than 1,000 times better than the optical depression. The information is gathered by feeding or touching the surface with a mechanical. So for now, we have a recitation. May I call on Miss Ocampo? What is nano world in science and technology? Again, what is nano world in science and technology? Nanoworld in Science and Technology is the study and application of extremely small things and can be used to apply it to across the other science groups. Next, may I call on Ms. Dago. When is Nanoworld discovered? Again, when is Nanoworld? Nanoworld was founded on June 23, 2000. Venture Capital and Strong Financial Background in Neuchatel, Switzerland. For the last one, may I call on Ms. Devera, who discovered Nano World? Again, who discovered Nano World? Mario Tony Pitchett in the story, famous described the process in which scientists would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms. Machine, Professor Mario Tanikuchi coined the term nanotechnology. Benefits and application after more than 20 years of basic nanoscience research and more than 50 years of focus R&D under the NNI. Applications of nanotechnology are delivering in both expected and unexpected ways of nanotechnologies promise to benefit society. the nano world. The idea of nano world started when physics Nobel Prize winner Richard P. Feynman was at a dinner with his peers in 1959. He challenged them to write the entire 24 volumes of the Encyclopedia Britannica on the head of a pen. He wondered that if he could produce at such a small level with why we couldn't produce at a similar or even atomic level. He was guessing in the future and in time computers that take up whole rooms occupied our pockets. This led to the coinage of the term nanotechnology. The scale of the nano world is hard to grasp. Not only it is so small that can see it without special microscope, but most of us aren't used to think in nanoscale. It is this very small scale that makes nanoworld different, particularly when you consider the surface to volume ratio that occurs when atoms are lined up on a surface. Nanoscale particles, particles do not behave the same as larger particles of the same material. Nanoworld has three advantages. The first one is it promotes renewable energies. It enables new ways to obtain and stroke energy. 
it, it also makes solar panels cheaper and more efficient. The second, uh, second advantage is it extends the limit of electronics. In this case, instead of using microchips, nanochips will make it possible to build very precise circuits at an atomic level. And the third one is it allows more effective medicine. Arteries can be unblocked. Cells can be selectively attacked. Damaged genes can be repaired. And faster surgeries can be performed. Also, the, nano, the nanorobots or the nanobots can be used to rebuild the ozone layer, clean polluted areas, and lessen dependence on non-renewable energy resources. It's used for nanotechnology. This kind of technology is made of metal semiconductors or oxide are of particular interest for the mechanical, electrical, magnetic, optical, chemical, and other properties. Those tiny particles can contribute into different productions such in medicine, electronics, mineral, water, transportation, clothing, given the world, are used in a wide range of system and machine today. These are the disadvantages of nanotechnology. First is potential dangers to human and the environment. Second, loss of manufacturing and agricultural jobs. Third, economic market crashes related to potential lower value of oil due to more efficient energy sources and gold or diamonds, materials that can be reproduced with molecular manipulation. And fourth is accessibility of weapons of mass destruction. And fifth, improve atomic weaponry and if, and last is the cost of research and products made from nanoparticles nanoscience and nanotechnology are the study and application of extremely small things and can be used across all other science fields such as chemistry biology physics material science and engineering Nanotechnology is helping to considerable improve even revolutionize many technology and industry sectors, information technology, homeland security, medicine, transportation, food safety, and environmental science, among many others. Everyday materials and processes, the benefits of nanotechnology depends on the fact that it is possible to tailor the structures of many materials at extremely small scales to achieve specific properties to spread extending the material science toolkit using nanotechnology and can be effectively be made stronger, lighter, more durable, more reactive, more swift like or better electrical conductors. Among many other traits, many everyday commercial products are currently in the market and daily used that rely on nanoscale materials and processes. Here are the examples or the product of NanoWorld, the point probe AFM probes for non-contact, contact and force modulation, have become the standard silicone edge probes in many research laboratories. The ROFM probe for non-contact contact and force modulation mode and feature a unique tip shape with visibility of the tip from the top. This allows precise positioning of the tip on the area of interest. The Arrow Ultra High Frequency AFM Probe Rectangular and Triangular PNP Silicone Nitride AFM Probes are available for life science or biology applications and the Ultra Short Cantilevers for high Speed scan. Nano World also manufactures customized AFM probes on demand. In Nano World, we can also make or develop things that are good for everyday use by using nanotechnology and nanoscience, such as cosmetics, anti aging screen creams, antiseptics, sheer sunscreen, lighter and stronger equipment, waterproof and antimicrobial fabrics and scratch-proof coatings.